um, I was saying at the beginning, if uh, today is the last day that we're going to do the crawl. So if you want to learn anything in particular from next week for the next eight weeks, then uh, please let me know in the messages. Otherwise, I'll just uh, make it up myself, okay? All right, so start uh, sitting on the block and make sure that you're placing half of the bum on the block and half of it is falling forward. And then you're crossing your legs in front of you and start working on the bandas or on the three locks that keep your spine upright. So you want to clench your bum hole, suck the belly in, so you're trying to bring the belly button towards the spine. So you're feeling these nipping and tuckings from the inside, pulling up, and then open the chest, tuck the chin under, so the neck is in line with the rest of the pack. And then place your hands wherever they're comfortable on the legs, and as you're working on the core muscles, so basically you need to keep on clenching the bum hole so you can feel in this nipping and tucking, okay? And then place your hands wherever they're comfortable on the legs and start working on the breath. So you're lengthening the breath and you're also breathing through the nose only. So you're trying to inhale into the count of five and exhale to the count of five. That way you'll achieve six breaths per minute which is the, the pace of breath that can also start having an influence on your vagus nerve. So the vagus nerve will also shut down your fight and flight system. Basically, as I start the yoga, everybody comes in, dog, cat. Okay, so they're all out. <laughs> so inhale into the count of five, exhale into the count of five. If you're familiar with the Ujjayi breathing, which is the breathing at the back of the throat where you're making the sound of the ocean, you can also use that. And again, that also activates the vagus nerve, okay? But otherwise, if you don't know what I'm talking about, just concentrate on breathing to the count of five, on the inhale and on the exhale, through the nose, and you're achieving the same thing, okay? So interlace the fingers in front of you and stretch the arms so you're looking at your palms. On the next inhale, suck the belly in, push the palms away from you, and on the exhale, you're bringing your hands up towards the ceiling. Now roll the shoulders away from you, keep the arms as straight as you can so you feel the stretch on the sides of the rib cage. Inhale into the count of five, exhale into the count of five. As you're sucking the belly in on the inhale, you're feeling the whole of your, um, uh, core muscles engaged. Inhale into the count of five, exhale into the count of five. On the next inhale, keep your right arm up towards the ceiling, left hand down towards the floor. On the next inhale, lengthen the right side of the body, exhale, bend the left elbow, leaning towards your left, looking down towards your right armpit. Make sure you're grounding down through the sitting bones so you're feeling that stretch onto the right side of the body. The straighter your right arm, the more stretch you're getting. On the next inhale, come back to the center, right arm by the block, left hand up towards the ceiling. Inhale, lengthen the left side, exhale, bend the left elbow, right elbow, leaning onto your right, looking down towards your left armpit. Inhale into the count of five, exhale into the count of five. And then on the next inhale, come back to the center, Left hand behind you, right hand over the left knee. Inhale, suck the belly in, lengthen the spine. Exhale, twist towards your left, chin parallel to the floor and you're looking towards your left shoulder. On the inhale, you're lengthening the spine. On the exhale, you're using your arms to twist towards the side. Don't lean on your arms. And then on the next inhale, come back to the center and on the exhale, you're placing your right hand behind you and your left hand over the right knee. Inhale, suck the belly in, lengthen the spine, exhale, twist towards your right, chin parallel to the floor and you're looking towards your right shoulder. Inhale into the count of five and exhale into the count of five. And then come back to the center, place your hands just in front of you and start walking your hands away from you, leaning forward, now we're just warming up, so you don't want to do extra stretches or over stretching, okay? On the next inhale, start walking your hands towards the right knee. Once you've reached your limit, you're placing your left hand over the right hand, 
feeling that stretch onto your right, no, onto your left hip. And then on the next inhale, come back to the center. And on the exhale, you're walking your hands towards the left leg. Once you've reached your limit, you're placing your right hand over the left and leaning onto your left leg. Inhaling to the count of five, exhaling to the count of five. And then on the next inhale, come back to the center. Then walk your hands back to the center. Let go of the block, but place it somewhere where you can grab it easily during the class. Come on your fours. Hands directly underneath the shoulders. The, the hands are shoulder width apart. Knees directly underneath the hips, hip width apart, top of the feet on the mat. On the next inhale, you're looking forward, curve the back towards the floor, push the bum out. Exhale, curve the back towards the ceiling, start pushing the bum towards your hands so you're engaging the abdominals, looking down towards your knees. Inhale, look forward, curve the back towards the floor, push the bum out. Exhale, curve the back towards the ceiling, pushing the bum towards your hands, looking down towards your knees. And do it two more times, following your breath, making sure you're keeping your hands and your legs as stable as you can. The only thing that moves is the back, one direction and then the other, starting to opening up from the neck all the way down onto the lower back. And really sort of identifying the area of the back that, start, that sort of feels stiff. On the next inhale, you're coming back into a neutral position. Tuck your toes under and on the exhale, you're pushing your bum up towards the ceiling. And then you're walking on the spot. You're looking down towards your feet. Keep your feet hip width apart. On the next inhale, bend the right knee, transferring the weight onto the left leg. On the exhale, bend the left knee, transferring the weight onto the right leg. And you're just very gently following your breath. So no sudden movement. You're just allowing the back of the legs to open up. And then on the next inhale, you're looking towards your hands, bend the knees, start walking your feet towards your hands. Once you've reached the hands, keep your feet together, your feet hip width apart. Grab hold of the opposite elbow, in and look forward, lengthen the spine. Now bend the knees, rest the torso on the thighs, exhale, let go of the head. So once you feel like you're let, let go of the head and you're pointing the top of the head down towards the floor, you can start nodding your head and turning the head right and left. And then you decide if you want to straighten the legs or keep on supporting your lower back with the thighs. Really trying to loosen up and open up your upper back using the weight of the head to sort of lengthen the neck And then on the next inhale, you're coming, you're swinging towards the right leg and then towards the left, opening up your lower back, still making sure you're pointing the top of the head down towards the floor. And then on the next inhale, come back into the center, let go of the hands on the floor and then exhale, you're bending the knees and you're coming up into a standing position, head last to come up. Come to the top of the mat. As we're gonna be in the mountain pose, I'm gonna read you the disclaimer, okay? So bring your feet together, place the weight of your body into the middle of the feet, and just for a second, just to identify how you normally stand. Are you leaning more on your heels or are you leaning more on your toes? Go into the middle and then start pulling the kneecaps up to reactivate the core muscles, the pelvic floor one. You're tilting the pelvis under until you're feeling a pulling into your lower abdominals. Suck the belly in, open the chest, tuck the chin under, arms by your sides with the fingers pointing down towards the floor and you're looking straight ahead. Just familiarize yourself with this standing position, having the core muscles engaged. And then I'm just gonna read you the disclaimer. So when participating in any class or exercise program, there is the possibility of injury. By voluntarily participating into this class, you take full responsibility on having any injury that you may incur into yourself. Now place your hands in front of your chest, close your eyes for a second, and just set an intention for today's class. Also try to uh, focus 
your mind on the breath and try to constantly exercise the mind so you're keeping control of the mind by focusing on the breath and on the posture open your eyes we're going to do three sun salutations the first one we're going to do together at a basic level and then you're gonna you can go up one notch at a time with me or you can go at your own your own level from the second one okay inhale bring your hands up towards the ceiling look up at the hands suck the belly in on the exhale, you're folding forward at the hips, placing your hands on the shin, the ankle or the mat. On the next inhale, press through the hands, look forward, lengthen the spine, engage the core muscles. Exhale, bend the knees, hands on the mat, slip the right leg out into a lunge, left leg two meter into a high plank. Now you're setting the plank by bringing the shoulders above the wrist, you're on your tiptoes and you're pushing the heels away from you. So you want to be in one line between the heels and the head. Now clench the glutes, pull the kneecaps up, squeeze the shoulder blades together. On the exhale, knees to the floor, leading with the chest, you're looking forward, rubbing the elbows by your side, you're bringing your chest down to the floor. Top of the feet on the mat, hands on the floor, underneath your shoulders. On the next inhale, peel the chest off the floor, roll the shoulders away from you, look forward, the elbows are bent. Exhale, tuck your toes under, come into your hands and knees, bring the seat towards your heels and you're coming up into a downward dog. Stepping your feet slightly forward, hip width apart, so that you can bring the heels down towards the floor. Aiming to keep your legs as straight as you can, with the heels as close as you can towards the wall, towards the mat. If you're struggling with this, you can bend the knees, push the bum up, lift the heels off the floor, and then keeping the, he the bum where it is, you're just trying to straighten the leg as much as you can. Inhale into the count of five, exhale into the count of five. You're looking down towards your feet, but you can also point the top of the head down towards the floor, using the weight of the head to sort of lengthen the upper part of the back. In and into the count of five, exhale into the count of five. On the next inhale, you're looking towards your hands, bend the knees, start walking your feet towards your hands. Once you've reached the hands, keep your feet together. Exhale, you're folding forward, letting go of the head. On the next inhale, you're coming up a little bit, sucking up to the belly, bringing your hands up towards the ceiling, and exhale, hands by your sides. Okay. Second one, inhale, bring your hands up towards the ceiling, exhale, you're folding forward. Inhale, press through the hands, look forward, exhale, hands on the mat, at a step or jump into a high plank. Inhale, set the plank, exhale at a low plank or knees to the floor. If you're coming into a low plank, you're looking forward, roll the shoulders back, bending the elbows, you're rubbing the elbows by your rib cage, and then from here on the next inhale, push the body through the hands, Straighten the arms, looking forward. So don't, don't be here. You're pushing the chest forward, rolling the shoulders back. On the exhale, tuck your toes under, downward dog. Setting the legs as you did on the first pose, and now we're concentrating on the upper part of the body. Hands as wide as the shoulders, wrists in line with the top of the mat. Fingers nice and spread, roll the shoulders back, squeeze the shoulder blades together, and then keeping the hands where they are, you're pushing your hands away from you, so you're trying to bring the torso towards the thighs. Inhale into the count of five, exhale into the count of five. Now tilt your pelvis under, so you're not overarching your lower back. Last breath here, inhale into the count of five, exhale into the count of five. On the next inhale, you're looking towards your hands, either step or jump to the top of the mat. Exhale, you're folding forward, letting go of the head. Inhale, come up a little bit, bring your hands up towards the ceiling, and exhale, hands by your sides. Last one. Inhale, bring your hands up towards the ceiling, exhale, you're folding forward. Inhale, press through the hands, look forward, exhale, hands on the mat, either step or jump into a high plank. Inhale, set the plank, exhale at a low plank or knees to the floor. Inhale, up dog, and exhale, down dog. Bring all the elements together of this pose of the down dog. Lengthen the breath. Inhale into the count of five. 
exhale into the count of five. Quickly skin, skin, uh, scan the body from the hands all the way down to your feet and identify any part of the body that is creating a resistance or is feeling stiff as you're doing this pose. And just send the next two breaths into that area, trying to open it up. On the next inhale, you're looking towards your hands and add a step or jump to the top of the mat. Exhale, you're folding forward. Inhale, engage the core, bring your hands up towards the ceiling and exhale, hands by your sides. Okay? So, come to the top of the mat. We're starting with the feet hip width apart. On the next inhale, bring your hands parallel to the floor. Exhale, interlace the fingers behind your back. And then on the next inhale, roll the shoulders back, squeeze the shoulder blades together. You're maintaining this position with the shoulders for the rest of the pose, okay? And then on the exhale, stay here. On the next inhale, suck the belly in, open the chest, and on the exhale, you're folding forward. Bringing your hands over your head, still squeezing the shoulder blades together. Now you can rest your torso on the thighs if you're experiencing any low back pain. Otherwise, you can straighten the legs and really point the top of the head down towards the floor. Inhale into the count of five. Exhale into the count of five. Keep on squeezing the shoulder blades together so you're protecting the front of your shoulder joint. Otherwise, you'll be overextending that joint and you, eventually you can cause some injury there. Last breath here. Inhale into the count of five. Exhale into the count of five. On the next inhale, come all the way up. Place your hands on the hips and step to the front of the mat with the feet together. On the next inhale, you're stepping with your left foot, two thirds of the mat, turning the toes towards the top left corner of the mat. Now the left leg is straight and the left foot is, the heel is on the floor. And then you, you're bending the front leg. You still want to see the big toes, okay? Okay, now, um, sorry, with the, right, with the left foot, you're turning the foot to the sides, okay? Sorry, because we're gonna do in warrior two. So you're pointing the toes towards the edge of the mat. And then place the weight onto the edge of the foot so you can lift the inside of your arch. And then you're bending the front leg so you still want to see the big toes. Now the tendency is for the front leg to come in, okay? So you need to guide it out all the time. Now this is a hip opener, so you want to sit in between the legs instead of leaning forward so you're taking the weight off the hip opener, okay? Sit down in between the legs. On the next inhale, bring your hands parallel to the floor. Roll the shoulders back. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. And you're looking towards your left middle finger. Uh, your right middle finger, sorry. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Now keep an eye on what's happening on the back arm. Make sure it's in line with the front. The tendency is for the arm to come down a little bit. Still place the weight onto the edge of the back foot and still make sure that you want to see the big toes on the front leg. Last breath here. Inhale into the count of five and exhale into the count of five. On the next inhale, place your hands on the hips now, if you want, you step to the front, but you can take a short step with the back foot and then you're stepping to the front of the mat. Give yourself a little bit of a shake. We're going to do it on the other side. So feet together, hands on the hips. You're stepping with the right foot, two thirds of the mat, pointing the toes towards the edge of the mat. You're looking towards the front. You're placing the weight onto the edge of the uh, right foot and you're lifting the inside of the arch and then you're bending the front leg still wanting to see the big toes sitting between the legs and then you're bringing your arms parallel to the floor looking towards the middle left finger rolling the shoulders back squeezing the shoulder blades together In and into the count of five, and exhale into the count of five. 
feel the opening in the hips. Last breath here. And then on the next inhale, place your hands on the hips and take a short step first, and then you can step to the front of the mat. Give yourself a little bit of a shake. I hope everybody's okay. I went out with the dog this morning and it's cold. So <laughs> wrap yourself if you go out. Okay, now we're gonna start with um, bear pose it's called, okay? So your feet are hip width apart. Now we're gonna squat back, okay? When you're squatting back, make sure that your knees don't go over the toes, okay? When you're squatting back, you're sitting back. So you imagine that you've got a chair that is a foot away from you and you want to sit on that chair. So you, the knees are in line with the toes, okay? Now, when you're doing the first one, imagine that somebody's pushing you from the knees on the outside of the knees and is pushing you in. So you're resisting that. So you're pushing the knees out, okay? Place your hands in front of your chest, feet are hip width apart, and then squat back, pushing the chest forward, tilting your pelvis under, and pushing the knees out. So imagine that somebody's pushing you from the sides of the knee on the outside, and you're resisting that. Three, two, and one. Now look down, bring your arms forward. Three, two, and one and come all the way up place your hands on the hips give yourself a little bit of a shake we're gonna do another one like this but we're gonna interspace it with something else okay so you need the block and you need to put the the block on the outside of your right foot okay hands on the hips you're stepping halfway down the mat with your left foot now you're turning the hips towards the front. So this time the foot is pointing towards the top left corner of the mat. Both legs are straight, square the hips towards the front. So you need to pull that uh, right hip back. On the next inhale, lean forward. So you want to create a space between the thighs and the belly and you're placing your left hand on the block on the outside of the foot. On the next inhale, pull the kneecaps up and turn the torso towards your right. Now you can keep your hand on the hip or you can bring your hand up towards the ceiling. So this would be your right hand. In and into the count of five, exit into the count of five. Make sure both legs are straight. One last breath here. In and into the count of five. Exhale into the count of five. And then on the next inhale, look down towards the floor, place your hands on the hips and come all the way up. Step into the front of the mat. Okay, so now we're swapping the block on the outside of the left foot. Hands on the hips. Now start with the feet slightly apart. So when you're stepping back, you've got a bit of a distance being between the feet. So you're stepping with the right foot halfway down the mat, turning the toes towards the top right corner of the mat, squaring the hips towards the front. So you're pulling that left hip back so that the hips are facing the front. On the next inhale, open the chest, suck the belly in, both legs are straight, you're leaning forward. And then you can place your hand on the, out, on the outside of the left foot, so your right hand. And you can also bring your hand on the outside of the leg, but stay quite up so that basically the, the, the body is parallel to the floor. And then on the next inhale, turn the torso towards your left. If you want, you can bring your left hand up towards the ceiling. In and into the count of five, exhale into the count of five. If your front leg is bending, come up a little bit. You're looking at the straight ahead or towards your left hand. One last breath here. In and into the count of five, and exhale into the count of five. On the next inhale, look down towards the floor, place your hands on the hips, 
and come, exhale, come all the way up, step into the front of the mat. Give yourself a little bit of a shake. I find that this is quite difficult, okay? So do it in stages and always make sure that you're keeping the, the main posture as it should be and then you can stretch as you go along, okay? All right, now we're gonna do another balancing pose. This is a balancing pose with the chair, okay? So you're squatting back, but this time we're gonna put one leg on top of the other. So we're staying in one leg, okay? So balance all your weight onto your right leg, come on the tiptoes of the left. Hands on the hips, and then you're starting to bend the right leg as you're lifting the left leg off the floor and you're placing the foot on top of the knee, bringing the knee out. And then sit back. Now you're placing the hands in front of your chest and you're looking forward. We're gonna do three breaths here. Inhale into the count of five. Exhale into the count of five. Chest forward. Squat down. Last breath here. Inhale into the count of five and exhale into the count of five. Straighten the standing leg, bring your, leg, your other leg down onto the floor, give yourself a little bit of a shake. And we're gonna do it on the other side. So you're balancing yourself onto your left leg, tiptoes of the right. Okay, now, as you're lifting the right leg off the floor, you're starting to bend the other leg. You're placing the right foot on top of the left knee, and then you're squatting back, placing your hands in front of your chest, bringing your chest forward. Inhale into the count of five, exhale into the count of five. Now flex the right foot so that you're protecting the right knee. Squat down a little bit more for the last breath. And then on the next inhale, straighten the standing leg, hands on the hips, give yourself a little bit of a shake. <coughs> So now we're going to do a plank, but we're going to do it on the forearms, okay? So I'm going to show you first what we're going to do because we're going to transition from one position to the other. So we're going to come on the forearms and we're going to put, place their elbows directly underneath the shoulders. You're extending one leg and then the other and we're coming into this plank position. Now when you're doing the plank, make sure you're not here, make sure you're not here, okay? So you want to be in one place. The way you do it is you push your heels away from you and squeeze the bum, push the bum forward, okay? From here, you start bend the knees, walk your feet forward, and then you're straightening the legs and you're pushing the head through the elbows, okay? This is the dolphin pose. We're gonna do this one time, coming into child pose, and then the second time, you're gonna do it again and maybe see if you can lift one leg off the floor and then we can do it on the other side, okay? So everybody come into your hands and knees. <sighs> You're placing the elbows on the floor, directly underneath the shoulders and you're pressing your palms down onto the floor, okay? Now extend the left leg first, you're on the tiptoes of the left toes Extend the right leg, so we're coming into a plank. Now push the heels away from you, bring the shoulders above the elbows, squeeze the glutes, push the bum forward slightly, so you're tilting that pelvis under. Three, two, and one. And then start bending the knees, so you start walking your feet forward until you can straighten the legs and push the head through the elbows. Three, two, and one. Exhale, you're bringing your knees down onto the floor, top of the feet on the mat, sitting on your heels, forward onto the floor, arms forward into child pose. Lengthen the breath, inhale into the count of five, Exhale into the count of five. Really try to sit as much as you can on your heels so that you can get the best benefit of sort of relaxing your back. If you've got any problems with your lower back, 
support your torso with the thighs otherwise you can also get a little bit more of a stretch by bringing the knees out and then on the next inhale we're coming back into the plank so you're leaning forward so that the elbows are on the floor palms pressing down onto the mat extend the left leg and then the right pushing your bum squeezing the bum three two and one on the next inhale start walking your feet forward and then press the head through the elbows and see if you want to lift one leg off the floor and then the other and then when you're ready come back into child pose catch up on the breath Start lengthening the breath. And then very gently, you're coming back into your fours. Okay, I'm gonna do it at an angle so you can see me better. So you're coming into the hands and knees. Okay, so you're lifting your left arm off the floor coming out to the side the palm is facing down towards the floor and then you're bringing your weight onto the left leg and you're lifting the right leg off the floor to the sides so you're basically in this position here looking down towards the floor suck the belly in if you want you can also extend that leg one more breath here and then on the next inhale bring your knee down and the hand down and we're going to do it on the other side so you're bringing the weight slightly onto your left hand and you're lifting your right hand off the floor and then you're bringing the weight onto the right leg and you're lifting the left leg off the floor Looking down towards the floor, sucking the belly in. You can also extend that left leg. Three, two, and one. On the next exhale, knee and on the floor. Coming and sitting on your heels. And then sitting your, your side, either side, side of the, sitting yourself either side of the bum so that you can bring your legs forward. <clears throat> okay so the first one that we're going to do sitting down is you're hugging the, the left knee towards the chest now you're grabbing hold of the top of the foot with your hand and leaning towards your right you're bringing that leg at a 90 degree angle from the body with the foot behind your buttock okay now hands either side of the right leg on the next inhale suck the belly in lengthen the spine and on the exhale you're walking your hands towards the feet folding forward pointing the toes of the right foot towards the ceiling inhale into the count of five exhale into the count of five Now just scan the body for a second and identify any area that feels particularly resistance or stiffness into this pose and then just send the next two breaths towards that area consciously trying to let it go and relax it and then on the next inhale start walking your hands back towards the body <clears throat> now you want to bend the front leg so either you're bringing the heel towards the groin or you're bending it as much as you can, okay? You can also keep it at a 90 degree angle. Now we're gonna bend backwards, okay? So you've got your hands behind you. So we're gonna really feel it onto the left hip, okay? You're gonna start leaning backward. If you want, just push your chest forward 
and if you want you can also lean on your forearms okay now do it so that you're feeling about a 70 percent stretch onto the left hip okay you don't want to be too painful as long as you're feeling the stretch into the left hip you've got the right position so just keep on breathing into the area and just quickly scan the body and see if there's anything that you need to let go as you're doing this pose Inhale into the count of five and exhale into the count of five. And now if you're resting on your forearms, press your palms onto the floor and really pushing yourself from the elbows to the hands, you're coming up. And first you're straightening the front leg and then you're leaning onto the right. You're hugging the left knee towards the chest and releasing it. Now give yourself a little bit of a shake. And we're going to do it on the other side. <coughs> okay, so the left leg is straight. You're pointing the toes up towards the ceiling. You're hugging the right knee towards the chest. Now grab hold with your right hand, the top of the foot, and bring that foot all the way as close as you can towards your bum so that there's a 90 degree angle between the left the right leg and the right on the left okay all right now point the toes up to of the left foot hands either side of the left leg on the next inhale suck the belly in open the chest and on the exhale you're folding forward at the hips okay so you want to have your abdominals engaged at all times so you get the best out of the stretch in this position, but you're also constantly working on your core muscle. Inhale into the count of five, exhale into the count of five. Go as far as you can go, still feeling that your body is not resisting too much on the pose. So if you're finding that your body is starting to seize up, you need to come up a little bit, okay? Inhale into the count of five, exhale into the count of five. Scan your body, identify any area that feels stiff or resisting, and just breathe into that area and see if you can make a little change by just concentrating onto that area. And then very gently start walking your hands back to the center. Now we're gonna bend the left leg. So either you're bending it slightly, if it's uncomfortable, you can place the block underneath the left knee. Otherwise, bring the heel as close as you can towards the groin and bring your hands behind you. Then start walking your hands away from you until you feel the right stretch for your right hip. Otherwise, you can go on your forearms, chest forward, chin to chest, and you're just working on the breath. Inhale into the count of five, exhale into the count of five. And then just scan the body and see if there's any area that needs releasing and that needs attention. And then to come out of the pose, if you're leaning on your forearms, you're pressing down the palms and then put the weight onto the elbows all the way to the palms, coming up. And then first you're straightening the left leg and then lean onto your left to bring that right leg up towards the chest and releasing it. Give yourself a little bit of a shake. Okay. On the next so now you're coming sitting onto the mat with the legs forward and then you're bending the right knee towards the chest and you're bringing your right arm behind you okay now on the next inhale you're sucking the belly in lengthening the spine and on the exhale you're turning towards your right and then you're bringing your right arm up towards the ceiling with the thumb facing up and then if you want, you can lift that uh, right leg off the floor. So with your hand, you're grabbing hold on the top of the foot, of the edge of the foot, and then you can straighten the leg. 
So the hand goes on the outside of the foot. That's it. And then you're turning the head towards your right, looking towards your right hand. Now you can do very gentle adjustments with your right leg. So you can bring the right leg towards the center, feeling the stretch onto the hip, or you can bring it out a little bit. So see where you need the most stretch and then keep it at 70, 70%, okay? But if you're feeling the stretch onto the hip, you're on the right tracks. Last breath here, inhale into the count of five, exhale into the count of five. On the next inhale, you're bending the right leg, turning the torso towards the front, and then releasing that right leg down onto the floor. We're gonna do the other side. So you're hugging the left knee towards the chest, placing the foot onto the floor, and you're bringing your left hand behind you. Now you can grab hold of the foot, of the left foot with your right hand, okay? So you're basically, the right hand goes on top of the left foot, grabs hold of the edge of the foot. Okay, now on the next inhale, suck the belly in, lengthen the spine. On the exhale, you're turning the torso towards your left, lifting your left arm off the floor, thumbs facing up towards the ceiling. And now you want to see if you can extend that leg. You can also stay bent, it's absolutely fine. Inhaling to the count of five, exhaling to the count of five. Make sure the right leg is still, the toes are pointing up towards the ceiling. On the next inhale, lengthen the spine. On the exhale, you're turning towards your right, your left. Inhaling to the count of five, looking towards your left thumb behind you. Last breath here. Inhaling to the count of five, Exhaling to the count of five. And then on the next inhale, start bending the left leg, turning the torso towards the front, releasing the leg down onto the floor. Okay, last one of the exercises from the sitting. So, you're bending the right leg towards the chest and you're placing it quite far out. So basically it needs to be a hand breath away from the inside of your left thigh and a hand breath away from your bum, okay? So the foot has to be further out than your hips so that you can bring your right shoulder on the inside of the right leg. Now imagine, so now the right bum cheek is off the floor and imagine that you want to stand on that right leg so that basically you want to stand up on this leg, okay? Now you've got two options here. You either keep your hands either side of the left leg. On the next inhale, you're sucking the belly in, opening the chest, and on the exhale, you're walking your hands away from you. If you want to create a bind, you're extending the right arm with the palms facing away from you, and then you're trying to bring the armpit on the front of the right shin, wrapping it around so that you're almost scooping something, so the palms are facing up, and then you can sort of create a bind behind your back, okay? So the arm, the palm is facing away from you, you're scooping up, so the palms is facing up, and then it's wrapping around the body, grabbing hold of the hands, and then you're folding forward, okay? Inhale into the count of five, exhale into the count of five. Make sure you're flexing the, the toes of the right of the left foot so that the left leg is nice and straight and then on the next inhale come all the way up release the bind hug the left the right knee towards the chest and release it okay so now we're keeping the right leg straight and we're hugging the left knee towards the chest placing the foot about a hand breath away from the bum and from the inside of the right thigh, okay? So now you're leaning slightly forward and you're bringing your right shoulder on the inside of the right foot. And then two choices here. Again, you want to almost stand up on that leg so that the knee doesn't come out to the side, the knee is pointing up towards the ceiling. 
either you're walking the hands away from you or you're leaning forward, extending the left arm with the palm facing away from you. And then you're scooping the hand around so the palm is facing up, bringing the armpit in front of the right leg, grabbing hold of the hands behind you and then leaning forward. Inhaling to the count of five, exhaling to the count of five. And then very gently just come up a little bit, undo the bind if you were doing the bind and then come all the way up hugging the, the left knee towards the chest and releasing it. Okay, we're gonna lean down to make to do the bridge. So you're coming into the middle of your mat, bend the knees so that the feet are on the mat, place your hands in front of the knees and roll yourself onto your back, hugging the knees to the chest, hugging the chin. So basically you're tucking the chin under so it's as close as you can towards your chest. And now really hug the knees to the chest. The bum can come off the floor so that you're feeling the sort of release onto the front of the hips. And then you're placing your feet in front of the hips, hip width apart. They have to be as close as you can towards the hips so that you can touch some part of the foot in this position. Pressing the palms down onto the floor. Now, before you're lifting the bum off the floor, you're tucking the pelvis under. So you're trying to shorten the distance between the pelvis and the rib cage. So you're tilting the pelvis under. Once you're in this position, then you can push the hips up towards the ceiling. You can interlace the fingers behind your back, shuffling to the top of your shoulders, making sure the knees don't come out to the sides that they're pointing away from you and you're looking down into your belly, chin to chest, so the neck is nice and long and you're pressing down onto the heels and the big toes, pushing the hips up, squeezing the glutes. One more breath here. Inhaling to the count of five, exhaling to the count of five. And then on the next inhale, release the hands. You're coming down with your back all the way down onto the floor, releasing your back down onto the floor. We're going to do it one more time. Hug the knees to the chest first. Roll your knees clockwise. You're giving yourself a little bit of a massage on your lower back. And then we're going to do it one more time. So you're bringing your feet as close as you can towards your bum. Feet are hip width apart, pressing the hands down onto the floor. Tuck your tailbone under, pushing the hips up towards the ceiling. You can interlace the fingers behind your back, shuffling to the top of your shoulder, pushing the hips up. Three breaths here. And then very gently release the hands and on the exhale, bring your back down one vertebra at a time towards the chest. Hugging the knees to the chest and rotating the knees anti-clockwise. So you're giving yourself a little bit of a massage in the opposite direction. And then start rocking back and forward until you're coming up into a seated position. We're going to do the crow and we're going to do it for the last time, okay? So give it all you've got. <laughs> okay, so you're coming. All right, two versions here. If you want to do it on the floor, I'm gonna show you in a minute. First, for the people that want to do the full crow position, you're bringing the block onto the mat and with your heels, you're placing your heels onto the mat and you're coming down into a squat position so that the knees are out to the sides and you're starting to uh, release the wrists, okay? So the arm is straight, you're pointing the, the fingers down towards the floor, palm up, pointing the fingers down, and then you're placing the hands onto the mat. First, the fingers are pointing forward and you're leaning onto the hands. Then you're turning the hands to the side 
and you're creating circles here and then you're turning the hands towards the feet and again you're doing this and you're leaning back okay so start doing this while you start uh, warming up the wrist as i'm showing the crow onto the floor okay if you want to do the crow onto the floor you're leaning onto your back and you're bringing your feet together and the knees out to the sides you're bringing the hands as if you want to stand on the ceiling and you're turning the hands slightly to the side so that the v that is created between the index and the thumb is facing forward and then you're trying to lift the bum off the floor so that you're hugging the knees towards the shoulders and then what you want to do now you want to crunch up so you're really creating that crunching up sensation between the pelvis and the ribcage and you're lifting the chin up towards the ceiling then when you're done you relax and you do it a couple of more times okay for the crawlers you're gonna have a pillow in the front just in case you're gonna land your face there and then you're coming down you should be ready with your wrists you're bringing the hands slightly out to the sides and they are as wide as the mat okay so that the v is pointing towards the front and then now you're going to do pretty much the same as as you're lying down you're coming on the tiptoes the heels come off the floor you're lifting the bum up and you're hugging the knees towards the shoulders okay and then you're looking forward engaging that so you're doing this position here so you're crunching your abdominals okay and looking forward you're leaning forward and back leaning forward and back and then at some point make sure you're really hugging the knees to the armpit and you're resting the shin onto the uh, upper arm and then if you want you can lift one leg up and then if you can if you feel it you lift the other one and then coming back up okay at one point you may want to lift the legs towards the bum and then coming back okay so you're doing back and forward you can take a break with your wrist and then you can do it one more time <coughs> Everybody comes down onto the mat, lying down onto your floor, <clears throat> bringing the knees as wide as the shoulder, grabbing hold of the inside of the feet and bringing the feet with the knees bent towards the ceiling, tucking the chin to the chest. You can sort of uh, roll from side to side, giving your lower back a little bit of a massage. And then very gently release the legs down onto the mat into the last pose which is the corpse pose so you're having your feet as wide as the mat you can flop your feet to the sides and then pressing on the heels lift the bum off the floor and then just bend the knees slightly so you're placing the bum slightly forward down and you're rolling onto your lower back so the whole of your lower back is on the floor and then roll your shoulders back, hands facing up towards the ceiling, tucking your chin under so your neck is nice and long. And you should be relatively comfortable in this position. If you're not, you can put a pillow underneath your head or pillows underneath your knees, or you can bend the knees so that the feet are on the mat, as wide as the mat, and the knees are supporting each other. Okay, so now we're just gonna do some relaxation so start relaxing your feet relax your ankles relax your shins relax your calves relax your knee joints relax the front of the thighs and relax the back of the thighs relax your hips 
from the hips joint, you're basically going all the way across your bum into the middle of your bum cheek. And from there you're coming under and over your reproductive organs into your pelvic area, relaxing your pelvic area. Relax your lower abdomen, so the area between the pelvis and the belly button. And relax your upper abdomen, so the area between the belly button and the rib cage. Going up into the rib cage, relaxing it, every ribs, relaxing the chest, relaxing your breast, all the way up into the clavicles and the top of the shoulders. From the top of the shoulders, we're going to travel down the back, either side of the spine, starting from the top of the shoulders, the space in between the shoulder blades, relaxing the shoulder blades, relaxing the middle of the back, and relaxing the lower back, all the way down into your bum cheeks again. And then going into your hips and traveling up the sides of the body, from the hips to the waist to the sides of the rib cage into your armpit. Relaxing your armpits and relaxing the shoulders. Starting from the armpit, the front of the shoulder, the top of the shoulder and the back of the shoulder. And now relax your upper arms, relax your elbows, relax your forearms, relax your wrists and relax your hands. Come back to the top of the shoulders, relax the back of the neck, relax the front of the neck. Relax your chin, relax your lower jaw, relax your mouth, your upper lip and your nose. And then from the nose you're traveling across your cheeks all the way to your ears, relaxing your ears, relaxing your eye sockets, your temples your forehead, the scalp and the whole of your head. Feeling as though your body is starting to get more and more relaxed with each breath that you take. And now I just want you to focus on a part of the body that felt particularly stiff as you were practicing today, or a part of the body that feels uncomfortable as you're sitting or lying down as you are. And just direct your breath and your focus into that area. Sending warmth and healing with the breath into that area and helping it to open up and release. Deepening the breath. So as you're deepening the breath, you're basically deepening the, the stretch and the release. Now very gently start bring your attention back to the rest of the body. Take a deep breath in through your nose and sigh out through your mouth. Take a deep breath in through your nose and as you sigh out through your mouth start wiggling your toes. Take a deep breath in through your, no through your nose and as you sigh out through your mouth start wiggling your fingers. And then very gently, you can bring your legs together, you can bring your arms over your head and just give yourself one long last stretch. And then when you're ready, hug one knee at a time towards the chest and either roll yourself onto your right side, pushing yourself up into a cross-legged position onto the mat, or you're rocking back and forth until you're coming up into a seated position and crossing your legs in front of you. Bring your hands in front of your chest, close your eyes and just remind yourself of the intention you set out at the beginning of the class. And just make a mental note of, as well of how often you are able to just be in the moment by focusing on the breath, focusing on the body, and how often your mind just wandered off. Don't judge it, but just resolve that every time you practice yoga, you're not only practicing with the body, but you're also practicing the mind. Thank you for practicing today. <laughs> Namaste. And please let me know 